So 94, 40, 350, uh, converted originally by AJ's, updated by Dirt Road Garage a little bit. Um, stock 5.8 liter motor. Uh, Custom Sasquatch logo too. So what was that? All line X. Most of the interior, you did most of the woodwork and everything yourself. I did, I, I did all the woodwork. Everything inside the van, I I did all the wiring, all the woodworking, all that stuff is is my, my hands. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you lived out of it for like a year, moving stuff around to know exactly what you wanted. Right. It was it was like super rough. I mean, there was times I lived in it with no, uh, nothing on the wall. It just had insulation, but it was, it was wool insulation. But yeah, it was like, I changed it all the time until I kind of came up with something that I really liked. Yeah, and that's way cool. I think that's the best, best thing you can do. My camper is so small. I kind of am forced with the layout, so <laughs> I kind of know how it's got to go. Yeah. But yeah, you got a little more, little more space and all the stuff under the bed, and yeah, it's neat, man. You've done a great job for sure. Feels like, like I remember your post was like, yeah, want it to look like a nice rugged van on the outside, but like a home humble cabin on the inside. Right. I wanted it wherever I was at. I wanted to feel like I was in a hunter's cabin in the woods. Yeah. You know. Oh, and it totally does. Totally does, man. Yeah, quite the solar system, too, with the Red Arc, Manager 30, Red Vision. Super sick. Oh, yeah, all all custom bumpers, rock sliders, ladder, roof rack, all done by AJ's 4x4 vans. Cool. So, yeah, you don't go bouncing through crunching it, no. but you can mount it there and drive. Right, yeah. So, like, I don't leave it there all the time. The idea is, is, like, during the springtime, we end up with a lot of blowdown on the forest road. So, once I get it off the top of the van and cut away the first one, I can just stick it there and it's ready. And if I go 100 yards down the road and find another blowdown, I just get out, grab it real quick, cut the blowdown, keep moving. Once That's I get neat. once I get ready to go back to pavement, then I put it. Go ahead and put it back into its case and, and its normal storage spot. Did you make that? No, it's Yourself? actually just a, it's a product for Hornet from Hornet. It's actually oh. for um, eight, uh, UTVs or whatever oh, you yeah. know, and it comes with different little uh, pieces here, so you can fit it to different size bar. It looks very Love sexy it. in photos. Like <laughs> right? uh, I've got this one really killer photo of the van with the, this on the side of it. it just it just it looks sexy. Really cool to see the collaboration to get the 4x4 conversion done. And the van looks a lot different. I saw this thing a couple years ago when it was just getting started. You got to see it at a very at a very raw stage when we first did, so which is cool. I'm, I'm glad you got that opportunity. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, I just love, too, how the sliders, the bumper, the roof rack, it's all custom built for this rig. Yeah, There's no, like, bolt-on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the Linex paint job. That logo is sick in there, too. I like how they did that. Yeah, that's way cool, dude. What are the... Oh, yeah, 35s. Yeah. Nice. 35s. Nice. 18-inch wheels. Nice. Yeah, the methods. What's the lift? Is it a... Um, it is it kind of just... Five and a half to six inches. Cool. Oh, man, it looks good. Oh, yeah, there's the AJ's logo. That's a cool logo they put up there. Yeah, you've been some pretty cool places with this thing in the snow and big winter camper for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. It's um, it, the thing is definitely overland proved itself. Like it just got back from 600 miles of off track. It was awesome. It's been up in the snow. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's I dreamed of a four wheel drive van for a long time, and it's everything I ever dreamed of. You know. Yeah. Well, you've taken the time to build it right, and you have the experience living on the road, living full-time in vehicles to know what you wanted. So that's huge. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, we've kind of gone through the gambit. Rooftop tents, ground tents, little overland trailers. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. You guys got to check out his channel, Primal Outdoors. Awesome adventures. Came from, we're talking a lot. I've learned a lot about you coming from bushcraft and 
man, that's like a whole other world. So yeah, this is like uh this is the, like the, the yeah the, the Taj Mahal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not the Dodge, it's a Ford. It's the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. It's way cool. Well we'll have to get out and do some more trips. You're good to yeah, camp with no, you I finally definitely. though. It's yeah. weird. It's our first time camping together. First time camping together. <laughs> good time though. But yeah, I definitely would be fun to go out and actually go out on a real trip and Yeah, for especially sure. Especially once you get your camper done. Oh, definitely, man. Most definitely. Yeah, and you can lead I'll let you lead the way. You know some you put a really cool route together, which you just did a bunch of videos on your channel. About, right, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Cool stuff. Well, yeah, people are packing up. Uh, Charles Adventure with Roscoe headed out, and I think we're going to stay another night. And Yeah, it's good times. Hanging out with Casey, of course. Coyote Works. What's up, guys? Dude. Casey with the Coyote Works channel. Yeah, it's been fun hanging out with you, man, getting Super to know cool. you guys. And, Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, this has been a good, even like, Jason and I, man, this is the first time we've been out together in years. Yeah. Years, man. That's crazy. You guys have some history, too. You're telling yeah. us some crazy stories from South Africa and your old bushcraft days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some adventures together. Yeah. Well, I feel like you kind of let me into your little group here. I'm like the newbie, so I appreciate oh, it. It's, it's been really it was, fun. Yeah, it's, it's been, been great to too. have you. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. It's, fun and we've been following your adventures and yeah cool deal yeah. yeah yeah it was so random running into you up at lola overland and i'm like i think i recognize that guy i think i recognize that yeah guy. and i had just watched a video you'd done with B bison campers and been kind of scoping out the whole camper thing and because i got an old truck too and no it was super cool to meet you man yeah Good dude. Really, we're definitely gonna have some more adventures definitely yeah this is just the beginning so yeah it's been really fun getting to yeah. getting to know you hearing your perspective on youtube too we all do things a, a little bit differently but also like figuring things out and, and a lot of the same styles and, and the same goal i think it is just to show a realistic view of what we're doing and uh yeah yeah, 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 and all fun. in our own way, pursuing our own version of adventure. And, yeah, and you know, we all. I think to me, that's one of the coolest things. Is like we all share a passion, and that passion is a little bit different for each of us, and how it manifests itself in our adventures. But you know, we're all doing the same thing, man. We're pursuing our passions in the outdoors, and that's super cool. Hundred percent. Yeah, and hanging out at Lolo made me realize too. Some people are like, "Oh, rigs and coffee or parking lot stuff." It's like. Well, dude, you can meet some great people to get out here yeah. from those events. So never rule anything out. And, yeah, thanks to Lolo. That was a really fun event. That was good cool, beer, yeah. good food. Yeah, it's good times. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching video Jason's van, the Sasquatch. We'll see you then. Only question is, are you down to mob? <laughs>